the winner of the British Comedy Lifetime Achievement Award is Jasper Carrot. Thanks very much, Robert. Well, the greatest, the greatest compliment a comedian can pay to other comedians is to make a speech that's not funny. <laughs> and I'm well experienced, don't you worry about it. I, I, I got a, a phone call from Michael Hurl, who runs this bizarre thing. And uh, he said, Jasper, would you like to come to the Comedy Awards? We'd like to give you a, a Lifetime Achievement Award. I said, a Lifetime Achievement Award? I said, how long have I got? He said, two minutes. <laughs> so here it is. Um, I'd like to start off by thanking everybody in the world. <laughs> Hope I haven't left anybody out, all right? <laughs> and, and I was looking at the past recipients of this award, and it is, it is a bit gobsmacking. And, uh, I mean, you know, Ronnie Barker, uh, Beryl Reed, Spike Milligan, Peter Cook, Thora Heard, Dave Allen, George Burns, Bob Monkhouse. And they're all dead. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I get the message, you know. I get, you know, here's a doorstop, no sod off. I, I was actually in this... Uh, this is where I actually made my, my very first TV series uh, in 1977, can you believe? And it was, um, it was six half-hour programmes called An Audience with Jasper Carrot. And uh, if you see the reruns, you never recognise anybody in the audience. That's how long ago it was. And, um, and I remember just after, about a couple of years after that, um, I was in the BBC canteen and I was talking to the, the late, great Frank Muir. And uh, we were both waiting for an ambulance, as it happens. <laughs> and, well, you don't get food like that under 30,000 feet, do you, really? And he said to me, we were talking about comedy, and he said, you know, comedy is a young person's game. And I hadn't the faintest idea what the hell he was on about. Now I know. <laughs> now I know. And it is. It's a young man's game. And I've had a great time, I have to say. Um, I'm just going to indulge, if I may. I'd like to say thank you to Paul Smith, Michael Grade, Jim Moyer, Mike and Steve, my lovely wife, and one and a half million citizens of Birmingham who are very dear to my heart. And thank you. And one of the questions I've been asked so many times in the last few weeks with uh, all the furore with uh, Russell and Jonathan, and people say to me, what is the future uh, of British comedy? And I'm looking around tonight, and it's in very good hands. And I mean that. Uh, I'm passing the mantle over to you. It's as simple as that, you know. Treat it well. Treat it with integrity, and it'll look after you. And uh, thanks very much.